Everyone here in Jordan for this 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifier between Jordan and the Philippines. There are just four more qualification games left before the World Cup next year. Philippines, they've already qualified. There are hosts next year. However, Jordan's fate still hangs in the balance. Here's the schedule for game day nine. Alongside this, we've got Saudi Arabia versus India and Lebanon versus New Zealand. What an interesting slate of games ahead of us today in these Asian qualifiers for the World Cup next year. So alongside the Philippines, Japan also have secured their place at the World Cup as hosts. But outside of that, there are seven spots available at the World Cup next year from the Asia region. Simply put, the top three teams in Group E will go to the World Cup. So we're looking at this as it stands. You see our two teams at the moment. Jordan currently sitting in fourth place. But because the Philippines already have their spot secured, Jordan sitting in a qualification spot as we see it at the moment. Good to see the fans starting to come into the arena as well. They, as always here in Amman, will add to the spectacle. They will bring the noise for sure. And it should be a really interesting game between these two teams. As we await the player introductions, first to be introduced will be the Philippines. And it's interesting for them, they're building towards their home World Cup. And with that, certainly comes added pressure, which I'm sure that Coach Reyes is uh, a little bit more than aware of right now. That said, he stuck to his mission. He's looking to grow his team to make a run at the World Cup in Manila next year. And that's exactly what they're building towards. Defensively, the Philippines have been very strong. They're second and third in Asia for blocks and steals, respectively. And it's that ball pressure that provides them with much of the basis for their quick transition offense. They want to get out into transition when they can, but it's all about that defensive pressure. One area for the Philippines to consider, though, is how they look after the ball. Second worst team in Asia with regards to turnovers, giving up almost 16 possessions a game. But the Philippines they want to come away with a win. It's all about momentum now. It's under a year until their World Cup. And it is all about building that momentum. Now for the home team, as you hear the decibels just go off the chart here in the arena. And Jordan as a team on their day are a match for anyone here in the Asia region. Slightly inconsistent at times. The emotions can get the better of them at times. But my goodness me, in Jakarta earlier in the year, they put an amazing run together to make it through to the semi-finals of the Asia Cup in Jakarta. Phenomenal, really. Coach Alsus knows that consistency will be the key for them. And if they can uh, establish a little bit of consistency over the next two games, they have the Philippines here today. And also here, they take on New Zealand on Sunday. If they could get back-to-back -back wins in those two games, that really puts them in a great place to be one of the 32 teams at the World Cup next year. Jordan also play an interesting defensive style, plenty of on-ball pressure as they look to trigger their own transition offense. Two similar style basketball teams going up against each other today. Always provides uh, for an interesting spectacle on who can execute similar game plans to a higher standard. We'll now have a break in the commentary as we will have the national anthems for both teams. First, we'll have the national anthem for the Philippines and that will be followed by the national anthem for Jordan.
And as a player, if you ever needed anything to lock you into a game, to get you ready, get you pumped, it's a stirring rendition of your national anthem. Players now come to the half court. Coaches do as well. Exchange pleasantries. Here's our officiating crew for today's game. Evgeny Mikiev with Zemzeng and Chan Oshong from Kazakhstan, Syria and Malaysia, respectively. Strong officiating crew. They're ready to go, as are we. As the teams now enter their final warm-up phase, as I say, completely different situation for both teams. Philippines already know they're going to be at the World Cup, but they have the added pressure of being hosts, so the expectation is that they have a winning momentum going into that tournament, and today's game certainly will play a part of that. But for Jordan, the key is every game counts right now. Currently sitting fourth in the table with a three-win, three-loss record. Interestingly, the same record as the Philippines. So they need to come out and get the big win here today. You see the Philippines now going to work to get ready for today's game. But as I was saying, it's the top three teams in the group will go through. Here's a starting five for the Philippines. Thompson, Soto, Pagoy, Ramos and Aguilar. Strong starting five. Be interesting to see Kai Soto grabbing so many of the headlines right now for Philippines basketball. Ramos back into the action as well. Two players who weren't there at the Asia Cup in Jakarta earlier in the year. And several players, to be fair, within this Philippines roster that weren't there. That is not Coach Chot Reyes. Coach Chot Reyes is somewhere else right now, but I'm sure his brain is on the game as the cameramen try to find Coach Reyes, he's not present courtside at the moment. That is not Coach Reyes either. I'm sure they will find him at some point. Um, as for Jordan, here's their starting five. And uh, household names really, Tucker, Ibrahim, Izai, Abbas, and Al Dwiri. My goodness me, that is a tough starting five. All five of them were a part of that fourth placed team at the Asia Cup. So much excitement within this. Jordanian roster, if they can get some consistency, they really are a threat for anyone, particularly here in the Asia region. Coach Al Sous now getting into the final preparations with his team. He knows nothing will be decided here today, but his team certainly can't be complacent. They must make home court advantage pay. It's a key factor in the qualifiers as we see the Tissot countdown to tip off tick through the one minute mark. Both teams getting ready, starting fires coming to the floor. Just a quick opportunity for me to remind you if you uh, want to follow these World Cup qualifiers closely and the World Cup next year, your best bet is to download the official FIBA World Cup app. It's available on Android and iOS, completely free of charge. So much going on on that app. I definitely recommend you download it. Get your devices out now and you'll have it ready to go before we even tip this game off right here. Also a reminder, over 50 games going across the next five or six days around the world as countries fight for their spot at the World Cup. This is alongside the Saudi Arabia game, the First game to take place in this qualification window. First game to tip off. So we are honored to get the show underway here in Oman. It's going to be an interesting battle of the bigs today. The experienced, the veteran, Alderweire, going up against the young 
future of Philippines basketball, Kai Soto. And we're underway here in Oman. 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifier between Jordan and the Philippines. Jordan fighting for their place at the World Cup next year. Philippines straight away to the bucket. Strong move. Pagoy gets his account open. Had a, career, had a uh, sorry, qualifiers high against India of 12. Abbas. Comes out, Ibrahim, nice ball movement here. Tucker wide open, nails the three ball. Points to the crowd, Da Tucker. What an Asia Cup tournament he had in Jakarta earlier in the year. A firework of a player. Ramos off target, Alduiri scoops up the uncontested rebound. Ibrahim slows it down. Tucker back out to Ibrahim. He's got the mismatch. Little step back three. Good footwork. Oh, big, big rebound. Alduiri quickly trying to establish himself. I'm sure he knows that people are going to be watching that battle that he's going to have with Kai Soto. And he wants to assert himself early on. Tucker again, inside to Alduiri. Oh, spin baseline. Oh, the reverse. School is in session for Soto right now. How will he react to that? Pogoy drives inside. Defense reacts well, though. The rotation is strong. Nice, swift move to the basket. Looked pretty easy. For Sami Desai there, the defense didn't close out the lane. And just like that, Jordan have a five-point lead in this one. Ramos now moves it back out. Thompson inside. Good follow. And that's Filipino style of basketball. And Coach Reyes shows his appreciation. Philippines really do play hustle and heart style basketball. Pass inside, slightly astray, but they hustle back to find possession again. Alduiri has to come out. Three-second violation is going to be called on Alduiri. Interesting, he's not happy at Zaid Abbas. I'm not sure Abbas could really do much about that. He was wide open waiting for the pass. Just a little issue with the shot clock right now that they want to sort out. Philippines trail by three, two and a half minutes gone off the game clock. Thompson to the corner, inside to Soto, and that's the thread he poses. Play the game way, way above the rim, Soto. Bit of a pressure release valve for the Philippines. When things become a little bit difficult, they can go straight to him. Tucker now puts the three ball up. In and out this time, though. Foul called on Ibrahim. Freddie Ibrahim, one of the highlight plays, almost stole it away, just a split second too late with that steal. Thompson looking to inbound it, does so to Ramos eventually. Aguilar, no good. Tucker with the easy rebound, and the Philippines aren't crashing the offensive glass as hard as they're used to. Abbas for the three, both teams Leaning heavily on the outside game right now. Neither of them really having much success from range. Pick and roll with Soto and soft, soft right hand this time 
for Pugoy. And the Philippines really do have some talent in depth right now. Coach Reyes trying to work out who the 12 are that are going to get the blue jerseys next year. Abbas inside to Tucker, slightly off track. Three seconds on the shot clock. Tucker, little shake, and the three ball is good for Dar Tucker. Coach Reyes, I'm sure, maybe wasn't applauding Tucker, but uh, he knew the defense had worked hard to keep Jordan at bay for, well, 22, 23 seconds, and Tucker steps up and hits the three. Oh, and it wide open, the easy slam for Aguilar. Slaps the glass. Ties the game at 10 apiece. The defense parted for the Philippines to exploit there. Abbas now. Double team drops on Aldueri really quickly. Foul's going to be called on Aguilar as he's being run ragged right now by Aldueri. But Jordan are looking a lot to get the ball into the low post to their superstar big man. Yeah, easy call for the officials. That left arm just hooking around him. Tucker with another score. How many times have I said that this year? Dar Tucker's come to play. Eight points already. Three from four from the field. Ramos has it stripped away. Baseline ball for the Philippines. Jordan lead by two. Just over halfway through this first quarter, and it's been a brisk first five minutes of action here in Oman. Soto, corner pocket three is good for Kai Soto. And he truly is the epitome of the modern big. Happy with the handle, happy with the three ball. The three is in and out for Ibrahim. Philippines with a single point lead now. Thompson drives in, hands it off to Ramos for the easy two. And my goodness, both teams putting on a show right now. Little pick and roll. Oh, lovely change of direction from Ibrahim. The finish is not there though. Thompson slows it down. The Philippines being a little bit more patient. Pulls up short, just takes the uh, front layer of paint off the rim with that one. Aldueri looking to go coast to coast, but the big man spills it. Ramos puts the Jets on. No good either, though. A little scrappy, those last couple of possessions. And Tucker is going to be fouled by Pugoy. And Pugoy will head to the bench on that foul. And Pagoy had no intention of trying to play defense there. As both teams will make some changes. Into the game for Jordan has come Hashem Abbas. For the Philippines, Perez is into the game, as is Parks. Foul's going to be called, and the basket is good for Ibrahim. CJ Perez just a little bit cold coming off the bench. Ibrahim exploits it as he just goes back door. Gets the score. Now Ram tries to get the block, but can't quite put it away. Ibrahim now to convert the three-point play. Shooting 77% from the line in these qualifiers. Freddy Ibrahim gets the bonus. And once again, we are tied up at 15 apiece. And you had the expectation this was going to be a close game. Some interesting matchups all over the floor. Soto inside to Aram. Beautiful play. See how they create the mismatch for JP Aram to go at. Rejected, but Aldueri is there again with the score. His second bucket of the game alongside five rebounds now for Aldueri. 
Soto, oh, looked to put the one-hand poster down on Alduari. A little bit of a conversation between the two. A wry smile on the face as the uh, veteran player says, you're not going to put me on the end of the poster. That is not happening in this game. As I said before, it's going to be a really interesting battle. Ahama Shea is coming to the game for Jordan as well. Soto misses the first of his two free throws. Played in the last qualification window. One of his first games, shot 62% from the free throw line. Had some huge games as well. 16 points, 13 rebounds and four blocks against Saudi Arabia in that last qualification window. So much hope put on the shoulders of Kai Soto, just 20 years of age. People are saying it's more a foregone conclusion of when rather than if he'll grace the hardwood of the NBA. We are yet to see that though. Ibrahim now into the corner. The jumper just rattles away. Bobby Ray Parks can only bat it out of bounds, so it will remain Jordanian ball on the baseline. Coach Reyes there, a real servant to Philippines basketball. Certainly divides opinion at times amongst the fans. One thing he's made clear, though, is he just wants his, his country to win basketball games. That's the only reason he's here. Nothing else. It's not about ego or any, any other aspect. Almost stolen away. Good read by Ramos, but he can only bat it back inbounds to Tucker. Let's see what the call is right now. Tucker looks to drive inside. Is it going to be a foul on Aram? Looks like it is. Philippines, I think, are in the penalty as well with that foul from Poi Aram. Sideline ball, so that will be them in the penalty next time for the last two and a half minutes of this first quarter. Things have slowed down a little bit in the last few minutes of this game. Had a bit of a lightning start. Both teams really wanting to get out and impose themselves early. A little bit more methodical in their approach since the halfway point of this quarter. Alduari, hesitation. Looked like he created the space but wasn't quite composed enough for it. Stolen away, that is great hustle from Abbas. Tucker, Ibrahim. Quick ball movement from Jordan, but Philippines defense rotates really well. Ibrahim draws the body contact, will go to the line. That's two quick fouls on CJ Perez. This is his first game in the qualifiers, Perez. Just struggling to find the pace of the game right now. Ibrahim exploiting a little bit of that naivety that Perez is showing. And this is the first. Had a double-double against Indonesia earlier in the qualifiers. Freddie Ibrahim, 17 points, 10 assists. Also had seven rebounds in that game. And on his day, Freddie Ibrahim is an absolute joy to watch. Plays at a really, really high level, but the challenge the 26-year-old is having right now is just that consistency. Needs to be able to bring that top-level game every game for 40 minutes. Not quite there yet. Parks skips his way across the paint. Ramos, shot clock to eight. Soto has it batted away by Alduari. Coach Al Seuss bellows out from the sidelines. Great to catch up with him in Jakarta. Has a real calming influence on what can sometimes be quite a fiery Jordanian team. Perez, nice pass inside to Soto. Oh, sorry, to Eram. Travelling violation called on Poi Eram. The 
There's a lovely pass inside. Yeah, it's absolutely a travel violation. Just picked up and dragged that back foot. Game tied, 18 apiece. A little over 90 seconds to play in the first quarter. Been an interesting one. Both these teams are looking good in phases, both defensively and offensively. Ibrahim now playing the big man, little man game with Aldueri. Circus shot no good. Aldueri with another rebound and gets the score. He is in big form right now. 6.6 .6 rebounds for the big man. Soto stolen away from him. Struggling with his handle today, but it's thrown away by Jordan. Tucker not able to hold on to that one. Philippines will make a couple of changes as we see Ramos head to the bench. Also joining him will be Kai Soto. Jordan will make their changes as well. Ibrahim and Eldueri coming out. In for Jordan. Sorry, in for the Philippines comes Kwame and Oftana. Oh, straightforward, simple shooting form. Pays off. Bobby Ray Parks with the triple. Abbas can't get it to go. Oftana gets the rebound. His first touch of the ball. Foul's going to be called. Think on Kanan, pulling Aram to the floor. Holding foul, so it'll be a sideline possession for the Philippines. Jordan's third foul of the quarter. A little bit of contact right now between Hussein and Kwame. It's going to be an interesting second string big battle between Kwame and Hussein. Three ball up from Bobby Ray Parks again. This time it's a little heavy and the long rebound falls into the Jordanian hands. Tucker up and under. Oh, if he'd nailed that, that was going straight into the highlight reel. Whole of the defense flooded the front side of the rim and Tucker just glided through to the reverse. Perez. Fouled by Hashem Abbas. Jordan still with that foul to give, though, so it'll be sideline possession again. Change for Jordan as Al Hendi comes into the game for the first time. Philippines also make the change as Pogoy comes in for Aram. Certainly interesting use of. Rotations and rosters from both coaches so far. Chop Reyes, 19 year, the senior of Coach El Sous at the other end of the floor. Perez, beautiful footwork, but the finish lets him down. And that will be the end of the first quarter here in Amman. As we expected, it's a close one. These two teams going toe to toe. One quarter down, it's Jordan 20, Philippines 21. Here's some of the shooting statistics from that first quarter. Philippines and Jordan both hitting two three balls. Still plenty more story to unfold. Interesting first quarter of action for sure here in Amman. The crowd have been given a certain entertainment level in that first 10 minutes of basketball. No real surprises that these teams really aren't easy to separate. Here are some of the highlight plays from that first quarter of action. And it's been a real battle between these two teams. Neither team stepping back from the challenge. Remember the Philippines as hosts already got their spot at the World Cup secure. Jordan still fighting for theirs. 
Both teams sit on a three-win, three-loss record in this group. Philippines in third spot, Jordan in fourth. Realistically, it's going to be the top four teams that qualify. Philippines obviously have their spot secured, and then it's the best three, time, three teams outside of that. If you have your phones in front of you, definitely recommend you scan that QR code. It will take you to courtside 1891. That is the app you need. Streams, scores, and schedules. Tons of content going through there. Make sure you uh, get your subscribe on to that one. Second quarter underway here in Amman 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifier between Jordan and the Philippines. At the end of the first quarter, the Philippines holding the slenderest one-point lead. It's been a real interesting matchup so far. Perez inside, finger roll for the two. Perez has struggled to find himself in the game so far. That could be the game-changing moment. Look at the change of direction. Quick first step. Just puts Canaan on the back foot. Creates the space he needs to get to the bucket. Chance of a three-point play for Perez. Knows his first points in the qualifiers. Misses the free throw, though, but Parks can't quite scoop up the rebound. It'll be a Jordan ball on the sideline. As Coach Reyes continues to bark instructions. So the Philippines drop into what looks almost like a 2-1-2 defense. Oh, that is a tough, tough play from Hashem Abbas. 23-year-old just floating it high enough to get over the outstretched arms of the Philippines defense. Straight away as well, Jordan slipping into a 2-3 zone as well. Both teams coming out with some zone defense here to start the second quarter. Parks for three, another big shot for Bobby Ray Parks. And that's what the zone will do. It will give you those options. Philippines now dropping back into man-to-man -man defense. Out to Hussein, being guarded closely by Kwame. Oh, lovely spin move. Oh, beautiful footwork. Abbas puts us in a spin and gets the score. Look at that. Leaving Aram dazed and confused with that move. Crowd enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And Abbas will head to the free throw line for the bonus. Struggling from the free throw line, the 23-year-old, though, shooting a little over 40% so far in these qualifiers. Misses the bonus shot. Let's have a look what the officials call. It's going to be Philippines ball on the baseline. As Coach Alsus, so passionate. Really, uh, we're receiving rave reviews, Coach El Sousa, after their performance at the Asia Cup. And we'd love to take his team to the World Cup next year. Aram, oh, off the glass. The bank is open for Poi Aram. Philippines lead back up to four. Canaan asks for the screen from Hussein. Canaan drives inside. Good quick ball movement. Bizai is fouled, shooting the three ball by Parks. Bizai will head to the free throw line for three attempts. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, the right call. It's poor defense by Bobby Ray Parks. Bizai, not the headline grabber within this Jordan team. But intrinsic to what they do. Averaging just under five points and two rebounds a game in these qualifiers. This is his eighth qualification game. He's only missed one throughout the entire qualifiers. One from two so far at the free throw line for this trip.
Make that two from three. Trims the Philippines' lead to two. Perez now. Kwame, nice pass inside. Gonna be another travelling violation on Aram. His footwork's letting him down, and the moment he's getting himself in the right position. Coach Reyes, I think, is claiming to the officials it's his upper body moving, not his footwork. Oh, we saw Coach Reyes there signal that maybe he wants to review it. I'm not sure he can review that call. New introduction. The coach's challenge. They're able to ask the officials to review calls. However, they can only review calls that the officials might want to review themselves. That's part of the rule. They get one per game. Whether it's successful or not, they still only get one. Interesting to see if the coaches use it. Perez now calls for the screen from Aram. Kwame off target, and it just feels like momentum is slightly shifting towards Jordan, and you sense that the crowd are feeling that as well. Hussein for three. Air ball for him, though. Not his usual game. And Hussein will pick up the transition foul. Parks looks to get out in the fast break. Hussein just wanted to slow that down. Three minutes, a little over three minutes gone here in the second quarter. Both teams making plenty of changes, trying to keep fresh legs on the floor. Official just having a quick chat with Coach El as the uh, I think it was Freddie Ibrahim was a little bit too eager to get back into the game. And has to wait for the officials to beckon him back on. Perez misses. And Jordan will scoop up the rebound eventually. Ibrahim has it stolen away. Good quick hands by Perez. Off Tanner. What a scrappy phase of game we have right now. Both teams putting everything into it. Ibrahim, he's had the better of Perez so far in this game. Step back three. Not this time, though. It was open for the three ball. It was the right choice from Ibrahim to take that. Perez with a crossover. Parks, another three goes up. This one's short, though. And an easy transition score, this time for Abbas. As Jordan tie the game up 28 apiece right now. Parks fakes the three, drives in, loses the handle though. And that will be Jordan Ball on the baseline. crowd are certainly starting to become a factor in this game they do pretty much every game that Jordan play here in Amman it's a a wonderful atmosphere a wonderful city of basketball they know the game they love the game they also expect their team to win games foul called on Scotty Thompson is uh, Ibrahim just has a, a pretty good handle to go past him. Sideline ball for Jordan. And the battle will continue <laughs> between Ibrahim and Thompson. Plenty of battles across the floor, but to be honest, Tucker and Ramos is an interesting one. Soto and Aldwiri is another interesting one. Abbas. A little bit flat on the trajectory. Oh, wow. One on four, and El Dueri still gets the rebound. Tucker floats high. Uses the hang time to get the score. Baseline drive. Aguilar just hands it away to Soto. Should have gone strong himself. 
Cross court now to Bizai. Rattles home the three, and Jordan's lead is up to five. Big phase of play for the home team. Coach Reyes forced into the timeout. He'll need to make some changes. He needs to take the crowd out of the game for sure. Great phase of play for Jordan. Coach El Sous will want to keep them going, want to keep this momentum. Let's dive into these huddles and hear what the coaches have to say. Coach Reyes focusing fully on the defensive end, seeing Hashem Abbas as the threat. Glassing was a stretch four, interesting. Most will see him as a wing. Maybe that's how Coach El Sous is using him in this game. Playing a little bit undersized with him coming in at the four. How can the Philippines react? And this is what Coach Reyes will be looking for as well. Wants to see how his team reacts. Remember, he's in his mind thinking, which 12 am I taking to the World Cup next year? Foul's going to be called on Tucker as he catches Parks. Jordan's lead at five. 4.35 left in this first half. Just a little bit of sweat on the floor that needs cleaning up before we can continue. Thompson inbounds the ball. Aguilar looking for options in front of him. Look at Jordan's defense now, and you often find that with this Jordanian team when things are flowing offensively, they find another gear defensively as well. Oh, that is a tough shot. Floating through the paint, Scotty Thompson, softest of touches with the right hand. Abbas now to Tucker. Tucker been a little bit quiet here in the second quarter. Step back, three ball. Off target, though. Rebound for Thompson. Philippines trying to get out and run, but Jordanian transition defense up to the challenge. Thompson now to Parks. Parks just pulls the trigger and hits another three. Bobby Ray Parks is looking exceptionally good here today. Third triple of the game for him. Nine points for Parks. That's going to push Coach El Sous into a timeout now. Got to love this game. Complete pendulum swing of momentum between these two teams. Let's jump into this Jordanian huddle, hear what Coach El Sous has to say. Trademark timeout from Coach El Sous, just calm, collected, very thoughted, thought out, just very, very precise instructions to his team. Thinking about the details, not getting caught up in the emotions, not zooming out 
on how important this game is, just focusing play by play, phase by phase. If his team do that, they'll put themselves in with a good chance of picking up what is a massive win for them here today if they can do it. Dar Tucker now to Abbas. Aldueri being fronted by Aguilar. On oh, the defense, doubles down on him. He's lost possession. Can he get it back? He can't. It's batted away into the hands of Thompson. Three on three for the Philippines now. Pagoy. And not this time. Rebound pulled down by Tucker. And Ramos just gets caught up with him. And Tucker hits the floor hard, but he's made a tough, tough stuff to Tucker. Good sportsmanship from Ramos, though. Goes back, just checks on him. Yeah, just gets his right leg caught by Ramos. Knocks him to the floor. Game tied at 33 apiece. It felt like maybe Jordan had broken clear, created some space and some breathing space for them to work in. But just like that, the Philippines drag them straight back to a tied game. Both these teams looking good, though. Absolutely would love to see both of these teams at the World Cup next year representing Asia. Certainly have the talent to do that. Tucker now. It's a tough challenge for Ramos to stay on top with Tucker. Draws the foul. That one's going to be whistled on Pagoy, I think. Yeah, it was. Just the third team foul of the quarter. Sorry, in fact, yeah, the Philippines are in the penalty, so that will send Tucker to the free throw line, 82% prior to today's game. And Dar Tucker is the epitome of a scoring machine for Jordan. He has had double digits in five of the six World Cup qualifiers that he's played in, including a qualifier's high of 29 against Lebanon. And just to give you an idea of how consistent Dar Tucker is, he is the leading scorer in the Asia World Cup qualifiers. Across all the qualifiers that he has played in, he has 348 points before today's game. He is now way over 350 points as he connects from the free throw line. A real icon of Asian basketball and yeah, he belongs at the World Cup players of that level. Can him and his teammates book their place, though? It won't happen today, even if they win. But it certainly will be a big step towards that if they can. Parks, soft touch. Bobby Ray Parks is having a big game. Hitting the three ball, going to the free throw line. Little soft mid-rangers, runners. Oh, the follow! Puts it with the thunder. Parks for three. In and out this time, though. Abbas. Ibrahim fakes the three. Oh, beautiful selfless basketball, but the defense is matching. Tough defense from the Philippines. They might give Jordan some space on the perimeter. They are not going to give them any space in the paint. They flood the paint. Ramos going up against the Bass. Offensive foul going to be called on Dwight Ramos. As Hashem Abbas gets knocked to the floor. Let's have a look at the stand. It's just the extension of that arm, I think, is the problem. If he'd stayed shoulder, I don't think it would have been so bad, but pushing that right arm out makes it an easy call for the officials. Aguilar heads to the bench for Coach Reyes. As does Parks. What a game he's had so far. 11 points, four from seven from the field for Bobby Ray Parks. Jordan lead by two. Under two minutes left now in this first half. Ah, oh, pass inside. Dar Tucker swatted away. Don't bring that here. 
Malonzo with the big play. What have the officials called? They're saying it's a foul from Jamie Malonzo. Oh, Tucker's left on the floor in a little bit of pain. Still on the floor, he's not happy. Slowly back to his feet. Let's have a look at the play. Tough to see from that angle. Certainly no upper body contact. I think why Tucker might have been on the floor was a, a flailing leg from Alonso catching him uh, in a, a delicate area, shall we say. That will send Tucker to the line for two shots, though. It's the first of his two. Jordan's lead out to three. Tucker to double digits. Twelve points now for Dar Tucker. Make that six out of seven World Cup qualifiers with double digit scoring for Dar Tucker. And the second is good as well. One minute 36 left in the first half, and I'm sure Coach El Suste would love for his team just to extend this lead a little bit. Six or seven point lead going into the halftime locker room really would be a nice place for them to build on in the second half. But for Coach Reyes and his Philippines side, they will continue to work away into this game. A little bit too selfless at times. Kwame should really have gone for it. Instead, handing it off. Inside, and a two-handed flush for Malonzo. Really is the human highlight reel right now, <laughs> Jamie Malonzo. Might have been a foul, but it looked amazing at the other end of the floor. Alhama Shea. Pick and roll at the top. Ball's moving a little bit too quickly for Alduari to get involved right now. Travelling violation called on him. It's a tough pass for him to take. I was impressed he uh, managed to hold on to it at all, to be fair. Jordan's lead, just two points now. Under a minute left in this first half. You wonder how important maybe this lead will be. There's the shot going up. And as has been the case in almost every shot attempt, both teams crashing the boards really hard. I know second, on, second chance opportunities could dictate this game. Ramos has to throw a little bit of a prowl. Dwery with another rebound. His ninth of the game. Aldueri to Abbas. That one's going to be called on the floor on Kwame. Let's have a look at the foul. Yeah, that's an easy one for the officials to call. Kwame's footwork letting him down, really. Timeout's going to be called by coach Chot Reyes. For the Philippines, 21.2 seconds remaining. Jordan at the free throw line. Coach Reyes clearly wants to get a play drawn up for those final 21.2 seconds if his team regain possession, if Jordan make both free throws. Let's listen to his huddle, hear what he wants to run. Hey, CJ, hey, make sure we get the rebound here and then we take a shot, huh? and then 
Don't spread out. Don't set screens. Okay? Let's just spread out here. Scotty. Okay. Uh, CJ. Okay. And then uh, Dwight. Uh, Ray, you're going to be here. Dito ka lang plants, okay? We make, uh, we set up. Tawid ni Dwight ni Scotty. Dwight screen for CJ. Okay? Get that pass here. Okay? Take the screen. Take the screen, Ants, go screen up, and then CJ, last seven ka. Okay, drive, cut Ants, and then spot up, ha? Spot up kayo. So we're either looking for the fake screen in the cut to the basket, or maybe the dish to the corner, either corner for the three. Let's see if they're able to execute that, though. Before then, though, they'll have to watch Ahmed Alduari. At the free throw line for two free throws. Only 55% in the previous five qualification games that he's been a part of. Averaging just under 10 points and nine rebounds a game in these qualifiers. It's the first of his two. If you can hit the second, you'd pretty much be sure that Jordan will at least have a lead to take into the locker room at the half. Gets yeah, the second, a drop. And Aldoeri will head to the bench as Hashem Abbas comes back in. Let's see what the Philippines run now. It's in the hands of Scotty Thompson. They're going to run the clock down, that's for sure. There's the ball to Perez. They're going to let him go to work. Perez to the basket, Al Hamashe is up for the challenge. Catch and shoot, it's stolen away. But that will be the end of the action of the first half here in Amman. What a first half. As we expected, a close battle at the halfway stage. It's Jordan 41, Philippines 37. Here are some of the shooting statistics from that first half. Philippines shooting the ball well from outside, whilst Jordan are getting it done in the paint. Very, very close statistically across some of the other categories as well. Really nothing separating these teams, and the score suggests the same. Dar Tucker leading all scorers with 14 for Jordan. Bobby Ray Parks is the leading scorer for the Philippines with 11. But a big 20 minutes of basketball ahead of us. Here are some of the highlight plays from that first half of action. And it has certainly been a great first 20 minutes here in this qualifier. Remember, the Philippines, they're building towards hosting the World Cup next year, whilst Jordan are trying to fight their way to having a place at the World Cup next year. Two very different processes. And the team's really working hard to get towards that right now. And we've seen some really interesting individual matchups. Tucker going up against Ramos has been one to watch. Soto against El Dueri has been one to watch as well. Bobby Ray Parks and Perez, another. Really has been a wonderful, wonderful game in the first 20 minutes, as is shown by just a plethora of highlights. Both teams playing some good basketball, and that will be a joy for the fans of both of these to be watching, because it's not just about the win. It is about playing your brand of basketball, coming together as a team, and both of these seem to be doing that well here. Remember, it's the top three teams plus the Philippines here in this group that will go through. As it stands at the moment, New Zealand have qualified. So have the Philippines. And there's one spot left up for grabs. Jordan fighting it out against Saudi Arabia and India. And Jordan ideally want to get this 
wrapped up as early as they can as we see the, the putback from Alduiri follows that one and just hits it hard. Surprised the basket's left standing, but at the half here in Amman, it's Jordan 41, the Philippines 37. Make sure you join me for all the second half action shortly. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of the entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Left-handed, strong finish. How about that? Oh, and Travers just says, not in my house. Now he goes the other way. That was impressive. The swat. And the three-pointer at the other end from Alexander Mudronia. decided to go strong. Beautiful dunk down the middle on your head. India is trying to organize offensively, but great tip in the air, and Jordan straight away runs the break, and Abbas couldn't make it, but look at Dyer Tucker! Trying to go to work. He spins, he dunks. And that was a big left-handed flush. Three-point shot. And missed it badly. And Clarkson launches it from just inside half court, and he makes it. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jordan Clarkson. And it looked like he made that shot comfortably. Like he takes it all the time. Wow. Saudi Arabia not starting well, and Jordan Clarkson takes off and has his first dunk. Welcome back to Oman in Jordan for this 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifier between Jordan 
and the Philippines and the leading scorer for the Philippines at the half is Bobby Ray Parks. 11 points, a three from six from downtown for Bobby Ray. Has two rebounds as well. As for Jordan, I uh, give you one guess of uh, who is their leading scorer at the half. No real surprises. It is that man there, Dart Tucker, with a big first half. 14 points, four from seven from the field, four from four from the free throw line. Has two rebounds and a steal to his name as well, and he's only played 14 minutes. He just flat out knows how to score the basketball, Dar Tucker. At the halfway stage here, though, in Amman, it's Jordan with the four-point lead as they look to fight their way to the World Cup next year. Currently sitting in fourth place in this group. Behind the Philippines, Lebanon. And New Zealand. Four more games, including this one, left in the qualification campaign as teams around the world try to fight their way to be one of 32 that will be in the battle to be crowned world champions next year. And as for Jordan, they're not quite at the World Cup yet, but they are well on their way. Three win, three loss record. If they can get a win here, that really gives them some separation. They're fighting it out really against Saudi Arabia and India for a qualification. But Saudi Arabia one and five, India 0 and six, Jordan three and three. So they certainly are in the driving seat within this group, that's for sure. There's only one place left in this group available. New Zealand, Lebanon, and the Philippines already qualified. So it is going to be one out of those three. Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and India who will be at the World Cup. Jordan in the driving seat, but they still need to win games. They are not there yet. A little under five minutes now to the start of the second half. There's some of the stats for Jordan in that first half. 44% from the field. They certainly had phases where they looked good in that first half. Other areas where I imagine that coach El Sous wants them to work. But there is Dar Tucker. How many games has he led the way for them? 14 points, four from seven from the field. He's done it in a very efficient way as always with Dar Tucker. He's not wasteful. He's a high percentage scorer. And maybe the most iconic face on the floor for Jordan is El Dwery. He's had an interesting battle with Kai Soto in the paint. And El Dwery really is a monster at times. Within that first half, it was him against four Philippines players. And he'd still come away with the rebound. Absolutely phenomenal, to be fair. At the moment, Jordan better in transition as well. 10 points in the fast break compared to just three points for the Philippines. But how will this second half play out? Still a huge 20 minutes ahead of us. Pretty sure Dar Tucker will have a big part to play in this second 20 minutes as coach El Sous just calls his team together into a huddle to impart a little bit more info. Really close-knit group, this Jordanian team. I was lucky enough to witness that firsthand in Jakarta throughout the summer at the Asia Cup. Really do stick together and work hard for one another. Very emotional team at times, though, which can be beneficial, but can also be problematic. Uh, some alterations being made to the basket at the moment. Just making sure it's in the right place. Both of uh, baskets have had a bit of a hammering in the first half with plenty of big dunks from both teams. As Philippines come back to the floor now. And as you can see, they're moving the ball well. 14 assists for their 37 points. Tells you the style of basketball that the Philippines like to play. Dwight Ramos maybe hasn't had the 
first half that he would have wanted, or maybe many would have expected. He is certainly one of the superstars of Philippines basketball, and often you forget that he's just 24 years of age and uh, still growing into what he will be. Just two points for him, though, so far in that first half. Played almost 15 minutes, only had four shot attempts, which is a rarity as well. Seen Freddy Ravina today. He is with the party, but he's not in the 12. As we look at that's Perez that they're focusing in on right now, but Bobby Ray Parks is there also. He has 11 points and two rebounds. As for Perez, he only has two points to his name alongside three assists. As both teams now go back to their benches as we enter the final minute before the start of the second half. Another opportunity. Get your phones out, scan that QR code, and that will take you where you need to be to download the official World Cup Qualifiers app. Trust me, it's a good one. Free of charge, iOS and Android. The perfect companion to have on your phones whilst these games and these qualifiers progress. Coach Reyes getting some final instructions in place for his team as Betty Ravina. Just provides a little bit of light entertainment on the bench for the Philippines players. And the fans, young and old in the stands, have certainly enjoyed the game so far. As I said, Amman, an amazing city, an amazing basketball city. Bring the noise game after game. Both fives now onto the floor for the start of this second half. And a big second half of basketball this is now, particularly for Jordan. Second half action here underway in Amman. 2023 World Cup qualifier between Jordan and the Philippines at the half. It's Jordan with a four-point lead. Pogoy being guarded closely by Ibrahim. Little step back. Alduari with another rebound. That's the double-double for Alduari now. Ten rebounds, ten points. To be fair, it's almost a, a tradition for Alduari to get his double-doubles. He goes to the right-handed hook. No good. Soto with the rebound. Alduari's had three double-doubles in the five qualifiers he's played. Make that four from six now. Good defense there from Bizai. Stolen away, Abbas. It's going to look to get out and run it. Gets it blocked from behind. Ramos with the block as Abbas ends up on the floor. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, the block is good. It'll be a baseline ball for Jordan. Fourth block of the game for the Philippines. They certainly have uh, plenty of rim protectors in their roster today. Tucker, three ball. In and out, Soto with the rebound. Just his third rebound of the game, Kai Soto. Going to put the three ball up, makes it rain. Second triple for Soto, up to nine points now. Zai doesn't get that one, and Jordan's lead has been trimmed to one with that Soto triple. 
Foul's going to be called on Alduary. And Jordan, a little bit slow out of the blocks here in the second half. Not bringing the intensity that they showed in that second quarter. And the Philippines have brought more energy out of the locker room, that's for sure. Pagoy now at the free throw line. Good with the first. Coach Al Seuss knows that a huge part of his role with this national team is man management. If he can get all his players pointed in the right direction, playing to their potential, Jordan are a phenomenal team. Alduary brings it up over the half. Gives it up to Abbas, back inside to Alduary. Stolen away, but stolen back. Tucker, little shake, glides inside and draws the foul. Tucker will head to the line for free throws. I think that one's going to get called on Aguilar. Let's have a look at the replay. No, I'm not sure. I think it's probably more likely on Pogoy. It was. Tucker back at the line. It's the first of his two. And the noise levels in this arena just get louder and louder as the game progresses. If this remains close into the, deep into the fourth. Expect the roof to come off. Tucker now up to 15. Make that 16, and he's a perfect six from six from the free throw line as well. For a coach, that's an absolute joy to have a player that you just know you can go to. They can create from themselves, and when they do draw the foul, they can punish the other team pretty much perfectly. Parks up against the bass. Drives inside, draws the foul off the bass. Parks will go to the line for two and. You'd almost say that Parks has a similar role for the Philippines as Tucker does for Jordan. I don't think the Philippines lean quite the same way on Parks as Jordan lean on Tucker. Parks hits the first of his two. He's up to 12 points now. Four from seven from the field. Bobby Ray Parks. That's the second as well. And just like that, we have a tied ball game yet again. Ibrahim. Abbas. Short. Alduari. Another rebound. Ibrahim. Too heavy this time. And Parks doesn't look happy. Looks like he might have hurt himself on that rebound. Looks like it's tied up though, so jump ball is in favor of Jordan after the Philippines had possession to start the second half. If anything, it's Aguilar and Parks. Fighting each other for the rebound. Parks not able to get his hand away. Alduari against Aguilar. Abbas loses possession. Are they going to challenge? I think they can if they want to. They're not going to use it this time, though. Coach El Sous wants to hold his coach's challenge. Parks hands it back to Ramos. Ramos loses the handle, though, and Abbas picks up the loose ball. 
Jordan trying to put a little bit of energy and tempo into the game. Tucker fakes the three, steps back, puts the three up. Good defense by Ramos there, though. Stayed with Tucker. Didn't allow Dar Tucker to gain separation that he needed. Oh, flying through and gets the score. Hits the deck hard, though. Yapeth Aguilar. Slow getting to his feet. Looks like he's okay. And that was a brave play, to be fair. He knew he was going to expose himself to potential injury going in like that. My goodness me, he got high. Unbelievably gets the score. That amount of contact stayed with the play. So much experience, Aguilar, seven times Philippines champion, seven times all-star in the Philippines League in the PBA. And nails the three-point play. Philippines now not only dragged themselves back into this game, but in the little over three minutes since the start of the second half, they've outscored Jordan by seven. Ibrahim to Aldueri. Back door to Ibrahim. He's stolen away, though. Good, quick hands by the Philippines. Too quick, though. Scotty Thompson had already turned to try and attack the basket before he'd even caught the ball. Abbas, no good. And at the moment, Jordan really are fracturing offensively they're not running anything as a team they're relying on individual talent and that is not paying off because the philippines can quite easily withstand one player coming at them but it's when it's multiple when it's orchestrated offense that's when they struggle to stop jordan pass inside rejected alduary tucker so Ibrahim, transition score, and that's what Jordan wants. It's about that ball pressure that creates the fast break. Ten fast break points for Jordan now in this game. Oh, and it's too easy for Scotty Thompson. Baseline drive just given to him. No weak side help at all for Jordan. Philippines lead still at three. Abbas. Slides inside, batted away by Soto. Big man nonchalantly just knocks that one out of bounds. Tucker receives the inbound, puts it up straight away, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm not sure that Jordan are playing the smartest basketball right now. Parks, wide open, three, in and out, though. Alduary in a wrestling match with Thompson. Jump ball going to be called. That one's now possession arrow in favor of the Philippines. By Soto, doesn't take the three on the wing, steps in, near elbow jumper. Too much on that one for him. Will Jordan build a team offense now? Will they rely on individuals again? Halfway through this third quarter, they trail by three in what is a very, very big game for them if they want to make it to the World Cup next year. Tucker tied up. Which way is that going? It's going to remain Jordanian ball, but they'll only have seven seconds to work with when they inbound it. As we see Bizai head to the bench, into the game comes Halhama Shea. 
A little bit less rotation in the second half, particularly from coach El Sous. Particularly sticking with the big three of Tucker, Ibrahim and Eldueri. Behind the back from the big man. Loses the handle again and Eldueri, not the best ball handler, but Seal seems very keen to try and drive to the basket. He does his best work back to the basket. Old school post move behind the back. Kwame can't get the score though. As Eldueri takes a shot to the face. And he uh, seems to recover quickly from the shot to the face, and he's good to go as he asks for an unsportsmanlike foul. Jordan now, trail by three, under four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Can they get something going? It's been very, very stagnant for them, and it continues to be a struggle as the Philippines defense is watertight right now. It really is unbreakable. Malonzo hands it back to Thompson. Ramos uses the Malonzo screen. Kwame steps out of bounds. No, he travels. Just lifting that pivot foot too early as Ibrahim heads to the bench. In his place comes Kanan. I think that's a smart move by Coach Al Sous. Ibrahim not really dominating things on the floor the way it needs to be. They need to run a team offense. It's almost stolen away by Ramos. That one a little bit too telegraphed from Kanan. Needs to be a crisper earlier pass to Tucker. Sideline ball for Jordan. Alderweire hands it off to Abbas. Shot clock to 10. Abbas trying to create for himself, hands it back to Alderweire. They're going to have to get something away. What's the call? It's a three second violation. As once again, Jordan really seemed to have no structure, focus, or rhythm offensively. And this is a worrying time for Coach El Susan. Jordanian basketball fans. As they really have no way of breaking down this Philippines team right now. Kwame hands it back. Perez slides in. Soft right hand is good. And Philippines lead is at five. Thirteen four run this is for the Philippines here in the third quarter. Baseline drive, Abbas swatted. Alduari has it stripped away. Ramos now out at the races. And the foul is going to be called as Malonzo goes strong to the rim. It's the right move by Malonzo. Team on the back foot in transition. Just go straight at them. Kanan claiming his innocence there, saying, I'm standing straight up, ref. He's certainly not. Malonzo now at the free throw line. Just his third game in the qualifiers. This is the free throw. One of those players that at the moment sits on the periphery of the roster. Not sure Malonzo will make the final 12 that play next year. And I think he just took too long, so the second one's disallowed. And a timeout has been called. Teams head to their benches, and Coach El Sous has a fair bit of work to do right now, more offensively and defensively. Let's hear what he has to say to his team. Okay, da, you're here. Back to the ball. Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Okay, pass it, we go, cut, hand up, between three and up, 
Okay, be aggressive, guys. We're not going to the basket. Really, my tenth allowed to you here. The hook pass is better than to pass it back. I understand, but go on a hook is better than three seconds. Yeah, but, uh, okay, now, let's, uh, now we're trying to, to isolate this side. Hey, now we're isolating this side for you and us, okay? Play, play there, play there. Come on, let's play hard on defense. Let's play hard on defense. They play under. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Interesting timeout from Coach El Sous as we see some of the fans here that have been generating all that noise throughout the game and will continue to do so for the next nearly 13 minutes of action. But for Coach El Sous, he needs a reaction from his team. He needs them to step things up. There needs to be an increase in intensity, but more an increase in a focus on playing team basketball, both defensively and offensively, but more offensively. And Canaan loses his footing, spills it out of bounds. It'll be the Philippines' ball. Let's have a look at the replay. No, no, Canaan just loses his footing. To be fair, it's the right call by the officials. Perez, Kwame, soft right hand for two. Canan now brings it up over the half, hands it off to Alduiri. And Philippines' lead is at eight. This is a worrying time for Jordan right now. Tucker. No good. And once again, Jordan's offense really not giving them anything. Tucker can have that shot at any point. Kwame fakes a three, travels again. Yep, you can see the little stutter of the feet before he takes off. It's the right call as Abbas and Kanan head to the bench. Back into the game for Jordan comes Ibrahim. And Bizai. Foul call on Kwame. Philippines not quite in the penalty yet, but it's the right call. Smart play by Alduiri, just ripping his arms through, knowing that Kwame's going to leave his hands there. Kwame heads to the bench. Aguilar comes back in in his place, and Kwame struggled in today's game. Hasn't played anywhere near the level he can. Ibrahim, pick and roll with Alduiri. Kicks it back out. Alhama Shea short. Grabs his own rebound. Stolen away though. Perez brings it up over the half for the Philippines. And the Philippines looking cool. Full control of this game. Perez misses the shot, but will grab the rebound and they'll go again. Ramos now uses the Soto screen. Shot goes up. Long rebound. Ah, oh, beautiful play here by the Philippines. Three second violation is going to be called though. A little bit too intricate offensively. Needed to be maybe one pass fewer and a little bit more direct. It's time for Jordan to wake up out of the stupor they've been in in this third quarter. Bizai Alduiri lays it in. Will he get the play? He will. That's going to be a big three-point play opportunity for Ahmed Alduiri. Nice pass around the corner. Stays with it, goes strong. Draws the foul. Aguilar called for that foul. Alduiri now at the free throw line. Misses the bonus and that hurts, but good work. Alhama Shea steals it away. Ibrahim loses his footing. Has to throw it back to Alduiri. Alduiri barrels his way to the basket. Just pure strength to get that one. And Coach Reyes knows there's not really a lot you can do when a player of that quality shows that amount of determination. Jordan's crowd have come alive here in the final minute of this third quarter. 
Ramos, three ball. Oh, heartbreak. Dwight Ramos cuts the noise in half. Tucker goes strong and one for Da Tucker. Oh, and it looks like Reyes is going to get a technical foul. He's come storming on the floor for some reason. Let's have a look how the officials deal with this one. Yeah, it's a hip check by Bobby Ray Parks. He's got his hands on his hip the whole time. Foul called. Let's see how they deal with Coach Reyes. I have a feel he's got away without getting a technical foul. He's still not happy. Dar Tucker will head to the free throw line for the chance of a free three point play. Doesn't get it though. Soto with the rebound. In fact, sorry, Aram with the rebound. Soto's headed to the bench. Perez, too soft, draws the foul though. Alhana Shea. Both teams now complaining a little bit too much to the officials. I don't think they'll uh, accept many more comments. Coach Alsus having a quiet conversation, slightly calmer. Tough to see from that angle about the contact. Let's have a look from this one. And again, tough to see if it is, it's up around the wrist. Perez frustrated that he didn't finish the play. He will get the first of two free throws, though, as we see Al Najdawi into the game for the first time today for Jordan. Back at the line for the second. 17 and a half seconds left in this third quarter. Philippines now lead by seven. Ibrahim being harassed by Perez. Al Najdawi sets him the screen. He gets batted back into the half court. He sang it came off the foot of Ibrahim. It will be a backcourt violation. Sideline ball for the Philippines. Three point four seconds of the third quarter remaining. Let's have a look at a replay on this one. Again, tough to see from that camera angle. Happened so quickly. Certainly don't envy the officials trying to call the game at the speed it's being played out. Ramos for three. No good. And that will be the end of the third quarter here in Amman. And what a turnaround. An 11-point swing in the third quarter. One quarter to play. It's Jordan 51, the Philippines 58. Here are some of the stats from the game so far. As you can see, the Philippines shooting the three ball well. Jordan struggling to get anything to work from downtown. A huge 10 minutes ahead of us now. Here are some of the big plays from that third quarter. Pretty sure the majority of them are going to be from the men in blue as the Philippines really stepped up. They came out of that half-time locker room with a high level of energy, a real refocusing on the mission ahead of them. The same cannot be said of the Jordanian team. Jordan just came out of the locker room a little bit lazy almost, a little bit loose, not fully focused, not with the same intensity that they played the second quarter with. And it's cost them. It really has. Jordan walking away from that team basketball that was being so profitable for them. And focusing instead on just individual opportunities. And that's the problem they've had as the Philippines have played some great team basketball, particularly offensively. And has led to some pretty easy scores at times. Now Dwayne has done what he can to fight his way back in, but he is going to have to have a big quarter. There's the QR code for Courtside 1891. Scan that. Streams, schedules and scores. Phenomenal service from FIBA. Definitely worth a subscription if you love your basketball. 
As always, Philippines fans are in the stands, making themselves heard. Drums are ringing around the arena as we get the fourth quarter action underway here in Amman. 2023 World Cup qualifier, three quarters down. The Philippines lead this 58-51 over Jordan. Abbas has to come back out to Ibrahim. Ibrahim for three. Not this time. Soto with another big rebound. The youngster's not had the headline-grabbing performance here today, but he stepped in, couple of big threes. Certainly provided a huge amount of rim protection. Here he goes, steps through and gets the score. Maybe the fourth quarter is where he writes his headlines. Coach Reyes knows that this will be well received back in the Philippines. Remember, Jordan finished fourth at the Asia Cup in the summer. The Philippines didn't make it through to the semi-finals. So for the Philippines to go on the road and claim this scalp, sends a signal back to all those Philippines fans that things are going in the right direction for Coach Reyes. He's building some momentum. And that they might make a run at the World Cup next year on their home soil. One thing's for sure, Manila will be an absolute riot of a city to host a World Cup. An unbelievable city in its own right, let alone when you add basketball into the mix. It is set to be one of the great tournaments of all time as we see the foul from Parks on Tucker. Tucker will head to the line on that one. And Dar Tucker just continues to try and plug away as best he can. The first is good. Takes his personal tally to 19 now. Alongside three rebounds and two assists. Only two Jordanian players in double digits. Eldweri with 14 is the other. Tucker now, first player to hit the 20-point threshold on either team. Aram goes to the bench for the Philippines as Coach Reyes continues to use his roster well. You feel that this Philippines roster will be a little bit fresher as we get to the business end of the game. Some of the superstars for Jordan have played a lot more minutes tonight. The likes of Tucker, Aldueri, Ibrahim, for example. Those three in particular, Perez. That's a tough shot by Perez. You could see in midair, he wanted to pass the ball, but the lane got closed, so he had to put a shot up, and that shot almost was a circus one. Tucker guides down the paint for the score. And he, once again, will take the team on his shoulders as he tries to get them the win. How many times has Dar Tucker done that for Jordan? Thompson to the ring. Perez. Oh, hits another shot. CJ Perez coming alive here in the fourth quarter. And the Philippines now have a double digit lead. Ibrahim off the glass once again. Jordan running no team offense whatsoever. Just individual one on one basketball. Soto hands it back. And Al Sous, I think, is going to call a timeout. Thompson almost loses it to Bizai. Parks catch and shoot. Short, but saved by Thompson back to Parks. He'll put up another three ball. That one's a brick, though, and it falls to Aldueri. Out in transition, and that's good for Jordan. They need some quick, easy points if they can. 15th fast break point for Jordan. As the crowd here in Amman do their best to get their team back into this one. Defense. 
Foul is called on Alharma Shane. He needs to be careful. One looks excessive. Surely can't be disappointed at the call. It was uh, close to being an assault, let alone a foul. Ramos now against Tucker. That one's short, but rebound once again, this time Soto. Oh, wow, that would have been a huge putback from Aguilar over the top of Alduiri. Not this time, though. Alhama Shea, offensive foul as Soto takes a great stand. And for me, Alhama Shea is letting the emotions get the best of him. Not playing the smart basketball that we know he can. The veteran. Yeah, that's an easy call for the officials. Eight-point lead for the Philippines, under seven minutes to play. What can Jordan do at the moment? They haven't been able to change anything. Their flow is exactly the same, and that's what's put them in this hole. Perez, ah, oh, Soto, audacious from the young man. Stolen away, this time the quick hands of Aguilar. Back to Aguilar, doesn't get the score though. But it's stolen back by Thompson. And this is Filipino basketball at its absolute best. Soto in and out with the three ball, El Dueri pulls down the rebound and Jordan at the moment looked like a heavyweight boxer on the ropes, battle tired. Not sure what they've got left. Alhama Shea off the side of the backboard. Swinging blindly right now, Jordan. And this is where that rotation of players from the Philippines is going to pay dividends. Coach El Sous now has tired legs on the floor. The Philippines don't. Ramos and Perez, an offensive rebound, bats it back. Soto to Ramos, drives through the defense. Thompson has it stolen away by Alduari. Three on one break. Oh, and it's a foul. Alduari and Soto collide deep in the paint. And the game's losing its structure a little bit right now. Yeah, the foul from behind by Ramos. Needs to be careful. Why is he trying to steal the ball? Alduiri will head to the free throw line. These are big free throws for the figurehead of Jordanian basketball right now. He's up to 14 points, also has a couple of blocks. But all of that can be forgotten. He now needs to lead his team. This is the first of his two free throws, though. And the second. That is criminal. When your team are fighting as hard as they are and struggling to get any offense going, when you're gifted free throws, you have to capitalize. Easier said than done at times, though. Fatigue and pressure are oh, an easy score as the defense just collapses. Scotty Thompson slides to the basket for an easy finger roll. Alduari now looking for options. There's nothing there as his tired teammates are struggling. Tucker tries to pass it inside. Looks to skip it to the weak side, but Kwame can bat it away, 3.6 seconds left on the shot clock. As timeout is called, Philippines lead at 12. Let's jump into the huddles, hear what the coaches have to say. Listen, let's go. We play two feet, two feet, we're in the middle, okay? 
And let's have Sammy and Hindi on the top, okay? Right. Now, on offense, we need this one. Watch me. Sammy's here, okay? Hash, you're here. Uh, Adar, you're here. Hindi, okay. you're here. Where you're here? Sammy, set a pick. Dwayne, pick for him. See this pass, okay? Or see him. Uh, uh, Dwayne, you're here. Guys, we're still in the game, if we believe. Come on. Let's keep playing. We still have a long time. Five minutes. Five, five minutes, guys. A lot of minutes. But chase the balls. Run, run the plays. Run the plays. Go for league. Sammy and Doug, you're the point guys right now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. For me, the most important sentence in that entire timeout from Coach El Sous was run the plays. That's what they need to do. They need to trust each other, rely on each other to deliver rather than trying to take the whole game on their own backs individually. If they run their offense, if they run their plays, they'll create much better opportunities to uh, put some points on the board because at the moment it is really tough work for them and it has been for most of the second half. And again, they don't run the play. Abbas just tries to drive down the throat of the lane and loses possession. A wasted timeout from Coach Al Susif. His team aren't going to listen to him and execute what he asks. And now for the Philippines, there's going to be some time management in this, and it's a balance. They'll want to run some clock down for sure. As Jordan sit in that 2-3 zone that Coach Al Sous asked for. Little shot fake, slides inside. And the follow is good. That time from Poyaram. And they're going to review. This is the first coach's challenge we've seen. As Coach Al Sous has asked the officials to review basket interference from Aram. They're just confirming. So, for those of you who are watching this, that signal that Coach Al Sous made, that signal there is his signal to the officials to suggest that he is challenging the call. Now, both coaches have one challenge per game where they can challenge a call, believing that the officials have made a mistake. The officials will then go and review the call as they would as if they were reviewing it themselves from their own decision. And this is the review they're making right now. Whether he pulled on the ring to get the score, it does look like he did, potentially. If they believe that the challenge is valid, then they will reverse that decision. If they reverse that decision, then Coach Al Sous will be vindicated. However, he will have used his challenge up. There is only one challenge, whether it's accepted or rejected, doesn't make any difference. They get one challenge per game for both teams. New as of the back end of October, any game that uses the review system, no basket. So the challenge was successful for Coach Al Sous. As we see, the officials come to the decision that the rim was touched. There was basket interference prior to the score. So that two points from Poi Eram will be wiped off the scoreboard. Another new facet to the international game, adding to the drama, no doubt. Tucker, three ball, short, long rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Ramos. It will come back to Jordan. They'll get a fresh 14 to work with. And Dar Tucker, I'm sure, is feeling some fatigue right now. When you look at the five on the floor, three of them have played nearly 30 minutes already. Ibrahim, Aldueri, and Tucker. Have they got four more minutes of gas left in the tank? Tucker now. It's got the mismatch against Kwame. Will draw the foul. Third team foul of the quarter on the Philippines. And for me, if I'm Dar Tucker, that could be the key. Get the Philippines into the penalty. Kwame fouls out of the game. That's his fifth. Really has had a, a tough game today. Kwame, as we see Aguilar come back in. And it's not a matchup that Kwame wants. Doesn't have the foot speed to stay in front of Dar Tucker. Tucker now. Inside to Aldueri, inside to Abbas, draws the foul. Much, much, much better offense from Jordan. Far more what they need to be doing. Run the play, play some team offense.
that's what's going to challenge the Philippines. Philippines can cope with Jordan just throwing individual players at them. They're going to find it a lot harder if Jordan start playing that team basketball. Abbas now at the line. Jordan do need to make free throws, though. This is going to start to really damage them. They're now 9 from 14 from the free throw line in today's game. Hits the second. Brings Jordan to within 11. 3.43 to play, though. Philippines in no hurry. Ramos to Thompson. Jordan sitting in that 2-3 zone. Skip to Ramos. Open for the three ball. Off. Another big offensive rebound, and you have to give credit to the Philippines. They have worked hard on the offensive glass. 15 offensive rebounds in today's game. Shot is up and is no good. This time it is after offensive rebound number 16 for the Philippines. Pogoy with the score this time. Abbas has it stolen away again as he looks to do it all on his own. Smart play in the end by Pogoy. Comes out, slows it down, takes some clock. Pogoy inside. Aram, offensive foul is going to be called on him as Dahl Tucker takes the charge. Let's have a look at the play. That's the right call. Tucker knew it was coming as well. He knew how Aram was going to approach that one. Thirteen point deficit, 2.46 to play. And if Jordan do lose this game, my goodness me, it makes the rest of their qualification campaign very, very interesting indeed. That one comes up short. Foul's going to be called. I think on Pogoy. Coach Reyes will be happy with how his team have played today. They really have been very, very good. They were good in the first half. They were phenomenal in, the, in that third quarter, and they have been super smart here in the fourth quarter. There's the shot. Let's have a look at the foul call. Comes up short. That one was off screen from Pogoy, but it's going to send Al Hendy to the free throw line. Only been on the floor a little over four minutes today. Al Hendy gets his first points of the game. Misses the second though. Where's the rebound going? Eventually falls to the Philippines and they'll go again. Thompson. Slowing it down in the Jordanian 2-3 zone is getting further and further up the floor. Don't necessarily mind that though. They need to have a little bit of pressure. But it's for the Philippines to exploit the gaps that that will create. Foul's going to be called on Tucker as he reaches in as Scotty Thompson rips it through. Yep, easy call for the officials. Tucker not getting any of the ball really. Timeout's going to be called. 2.08 to play. Jordan trail by 12. The Philippines have just looked really, really good here today. And Jordan has self destructed somewhat in this second half. Let's listen to Coach El Sous. Go to this side and then we go stagger. We're coming up. If you have the shot, you have it. If not, I want Shahir to be the second one. Shahir, yeah. pop. If you have the shot, yes. If not, pass it to Dwayne. And split. Yeah, so, 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 yeah. So, so Shahir here, Dwayne here, Hindi here, Tucker here. Ready. We go to Shahir's side, and then we go for a stagger for Hindi. We're coming. If we have the shot. Go 45. No. Yes. yes, but you post up, and Shahir, pop. We pass, pass inside. A 
forward. After that, guys, man to man. And we red on the screens. We red, red on the screens. Red, 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 okay, red with Shire with Shire and Dwayne. Red. Let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. Increasing the tempo and the intensity, but the second half has been tough for Jordan. They've only scored 18 points in pretty much 18 minutes of basketball. The Philippines have almost scored twice as much. 34 points for them. I think another timeout has been called. Back-to-back -back timeouts here. This time it's Coach Reyes calling the timeout. So lift, Dwight, Roger. So now we're one three one. Okay, now we're one three one, and we can make a pass. And if you don't have a shot, get the ball screen. Get the ball screen. Get the ball screen. Get the ball screen. And then we don't need to foul. Don't stop the clock. Don't stop the clock. Simple instructions from Coach Reyes. I'm sure it's be echoing in his players' ears. Don't foul, don't stop the clock. They just want to see that clock continue to tick down, leading them towards what would be their fourth win in these qualifiers, put them to a four and three record, cement them into third position within this group, Group E. As for Jordan, they'll move to a three and four record if they can't win this game. Saudi Arabia have just beaten India, so they'll move to a two and five record. Really, Jordan and Saudi Arabia so, so close as they both fight it out for what will be the final qualification spot in this group. Rebound, it's going to be won by Thompson. Jump ball, foul, jump ball is called. Not sure which way the possession arrow is. It's going to remain the Philippines ball. Baseline ball for the Philippines. Much more like wrestling than basketball right then. As they both fought hard for possession. Thompson to inbound it. Does so to Pagoy. Back to Ramos now. And this is all that the Philippines need to do. Run the clock down. Take a, a really late step back. Nice to Soto. Didn't expect it. Lost the handle. Aldueri has it stolen away. And once again, Aldueri with the handle is no good. Oh, and they can't save it as it's a really scrappy face. Pugoy steals it back the other way and almost need a little bit of circus music right now. As the Philippines regain control and will once again slow things down. Ramos turns the corner, kicks it out. Aguilar, no good. Rebound by Ibrahim. They need to put some pace behind it now. They can't take their time. Ibrahim kicks it out. Al Hendi fakes the three, takes the three, misses the three, but draws the foul. Aguilar. Fouls Al Hendi shooting the three ball. Al Hendi one from two from the free throw line so far in today's game. Wow, this could open it back up again if Al Hendi can hit all three free throws. Makes it a three possession game. Certainly doable in a minute and three seconds. Pogoy heads to the bench. Perez comes back in. This is the third 10 point ball game right now. Ramos brings it up over the half. Jordan probably going to have to foul here. Ramos will spill it out of bounds instead. I think Jordan were trying to foul, but no call from the officials. Jordanian ball on the baseline. 52.7 seconds. 10 points down. 
Canan lets it roll in. Brings it up over the half, almost loses the handle. Hussein steps out, three goes up. Hussein can't get it. Rebound by Ramos again. Surely it's too little too late now for Jordan and the Philippines are going to come away with the win. What a big win on the road this is for the Philippines. Soto is fouled hard by Canan. Unsportsmanlike foul is called. So Soto will head to the free throw line and the Philippines will get possession back. Are they going to give a continuation? Canan talking to the officials, probably better off walking away right now. Unsportsmanlike foul called. And Soto at the line for free throws. 30.5 seconds to play as the Philippines look to ice. A really, really big performance here. Outscoring Jordan 35 to 20 in the second half. There's the foul from Canan. Yeah, easy, unsportsmanlike call from the officials. But the Philippines, if they can play the way they've played in this game at the World Cup next year, then they are going to make some waves and there are going to be some pretty happy fans in Manila next year. Soto heads to the bench. Parks comes back on. Five second violation called on Scotty Thompson. Couldn't get in bounds quick enough. So Jordan will get possession. They trail by 12. Is there any chance getting back into this one? Bizai comes in. As does Alhama Shea, basically bringing in anyone that can shoot the three ball right now, Coach El Seuss. He's going to throw everything at this game and the kitchen sink. Alduiri heads to the bench. I don't think he's too happy about not being on the floor for the end of the game. Tucker drives inside, draws the foul. Dar Tucker will be happy with that. Happy to shoot free throws and score points without the clock moving. 25th foul of the game for the Philippines. Outside of Kwame, though, no one's fouled out for the Philippines. Tucker at the line now. Misses the first of his free throws, and they have struggled. 18 from 29, below 65% now. Jordan from the free throw line. You think about it, 11 missed free throws. And they trail by 12. It's the second. Timeout has been called by Coach Reyes. 25.2 seconds remaining. I don't think Coach Reyes will want to advance the ball, but we will head into his huddle, hear what he has to say to his team. Taking the ball uh, inbound, Dwight. Huh? Yep. Okay, make sure we screen tight here. CJ and Scotty. Okay, Ray, you're here. Okay, do not allow Japet. Okay, screen, screen for each other and show. Okay, if that's denied, flash, Ray. Okay, and don't dribble right away. Flash and face, catch and face. Tignan yon kung si Japet if he's free. Okay, if he's not there, take a look. Okay, step in, Dwight. So take a look, Don't double team, Baka hindi po ball, be strong, ha? Don't get a five seconds. Don't, don't get a five seconds. And Coach Reyes will be so, so happy with the performance that his team have put on the floor today. This is all about building momentum. This is all about building confidence within his team, within his players. And a performance like this on the road in a very noisy arena. Oh, stand them in good stead, Canan. 
Pushes Perez. He needs to be careful that he's not going to get a second on sportsman like foul. He's already had one. That would throw him out of the game. Alduiri will come into the game. As Canaan fouls out. They're going to have a look to see if it is an unsportsmanlike foul as well. Looks like one to me. The officials are in a much better position than I am to make the call, but I do like playing the game. Is it or isn't it? I think it is. Let's see what the officials say it is. As I say, they... Uh, a certainly better position than uh, me to say whether it is or not. I'm sure you're joining in at home, though, whether you guys think it's uh, an unsportsmanlike or not. Officials are going to look at the replay again as Perez accelerates away. Canan just swings that right arm around him. Almost like a frustration foul. Canan quite happy, I think, to get out of the game being fouled out. Let's see what the officials say. Just a regular foul. That'll send Perez to the free throw line, though. Both teams in the penalty have been for a while. 23.3 seconds remaining on the game clock, and Philippines are cruising towards a big win on the road. This is a tough place to come and win, and they have. And this will move them to a four-win, three-loss record here in Group E of the Asia Qualifiers. Obviously, the Philippines already qualified as hosts. And the bigger impact is on Jordan, really. Almost stolen away by Perez. But as I said, the bigger impact is in Jordan. This will move them to a three and four record. Saudi Arabia will be on a two and five record. Big games coming up on Sunday as Jordan will take on... New Zealand, whilst Philippines will play Saudi Arabia. Alduari gets the score. Jordan within 10. Parks, foul, falls to the floor. He's not fouled. No call from the officials. Throws it out of bounds. Points differential may play into this. So Jordan wants to score as many as they can. 3.2 seconds to go. Alduari slides in, finishes with the one hand, but it won't hide the fact of how disappointed this Jordanian team will be with the performance they've put in here. Front of the home crowd, the Philippines have come in, closed things down. The final score here in Amman is Jordan 66, the Philippines 74. Here are your shooting percentages. Jordan really struggled from outside and the free throw line. The Philippines doing a good job from downtown, but it was their composure that won this game. They won the rebounding battle in particular. The 17 offensive rebounds had a big part to play in the result today. Leading all scorers with Dar Tucker with 23 points. Kai Soto led the Philippines offensively with 16. And it's the Philippines that take the win. Here are some of the highlight plays from that second half of action. The vast majority of them are going to be from the Philippines. The Philippines outscored Jordan 37 to 25 in that second half. And that's where the damage was done. The Philippines looked great at times. Real composure. And it was the third quarter that broke this game wide open. They held Jordan to just 10 points whilst pouring in 21 of their own. And if this Philippines team turns up at the World Cup next year in Manila, expect some, some surprises. This Philippines team and this performance 
We'll go up against some of the world's best teams for sure. For the Philippines, three players in double digits. Kai Soto ended up with 16 points, seven rebounds, two blocks. Bobby Ray Parks, 13 points, three from nine from downtown for him. He also had two boards, two assists and two steals. And then Perez also in double digits, 11 points and five assists. As for the home team, they struggled offensively. Only two players really lighting things up. That man there, Dar Tucker, he led them with 23 points, three rebounds and two assists. And El Dwery with 18 points, 16 rebounds, but struggling as he had 10 turnovers as well. A big, big game for the Philippines. They really came in the second half, put a huge amount of effort into that third quarter that broke the game wide open and led them to this win. For both of these teams now, their attention moves to Sunday's game. For the Philippines, they will make the trip to Saudi Arabia whilst Jordan will be back on this floor facing New Zealand in what is a near must-win game on Sunday. The table as it stands now, the Philippines move to a three and four record. They'll stay in third place. Jordan will stay in fourth with a three and four record while Saudi Arabia have now moved to a two and five record. Exciting game we've had here in Amman. Big, big game from the Philippines as they look to build towards hosting the World Cup next year. Coach Reyes will be very happy with how his team has played. It's all about momentum, chemistry, as they build their confidence, as they build their style of basketball. And hopefully, they build some excitement in the Philippines. It has been an amazing game. There should be a lot of positives for the Philippines to take from this game for Jordan. A little bit more challenging right now. A little bit more for them to work on. And they need to turn it around quickly because Sunday's game now against New Zealand is absolutely huge for them. A loss could open the door for Saudi Arabia to come back in and, and stake a claim potentially for that last qualification spot here in Group E. That really would be heartbreaking for Jordanian basketball. But what a game we've had here in Amman. Our road team, the Philippines, come away with the win. Impressive second half performances. Jordan 66, the Philippines 74.